To hear that, walking down these halls and onto this field, it's a privilege granted to very few that get to wear the Rebel Red and Blue. But that entrance fills the imagination of so many while playing in the backyards or the dirt fields around Mississippi. Stuart Summers shared that dream. A three-year high school starter, first at MRA and then at Pearl, Summers was one of the best quarterbacks from the 2012 class in Mississippi. Passing on chances to play at smaller colleges, he chased his dream and decided to walk on at Ole Miss last season. It was a great opportunity uh, just to be able to be a part of the Ole Miss football team. You know, it was a dream come true for me. Now, Stewart was far from a star on the team. He knew his role behind the likes of Bo Wallace, but Summers would help run the scout team and take his reps when they were afforded him. He even got that chance to be in uniform on the sidelines with the team he'd give anything to be a part of. And who knows, maybe one day he'd have his turn to take the field. But those dreams took a turn on October 2nd, 2012. Just a Tuesday workout before practice. And I was just working out. I mean, the workout's pretty hard, but, you know, nothing too bad. And then my heart just started beating fast. And, you know, I didn't think anything of it, really, because it did it during high school a lot. I was walking back to the locker room, and I, I felt real lightheaded, and I knew something wasn't right. So I was getting dressed for practice, and I just, I mean, it was still beating really fast and everything. I just asked my buddy next to me, Bo Brennan, and, uh, Thank God he told me to go get it checked out. So I went to the training room, and there they called the team doctor, Dr. Sherman, and he took me. He immediately took me to student health. He says, uh, Dr. Sherman, I, I don't feel right. I, uh, I feel like my heart's racing a bit. Because of his history and because of what was going on, I wanted to get an EKG on him. So we started an EKG, and as we were putting the EKG patches on, he arrested. His heart stopped. Right when I got there, they hooked me up to the EKG, and that's like the last thing I remember is, um, I was like, pass, I started passing out when I was on the EKG and I flatlined, they said. And uh, I just remember gasping for air and Dr. Sherman telling me to hold on. We had an AED device and I shocked him back into a normal heart rhythm, at which point he sort of woke up and the ambulance had arrived by then. We transferred him to Baptist Hospital here where they stabilized him, and then he was Im immediately transferred to Jackson to UMC where he was seen by the cardiologist. Stuart Summers escaped death. The efforts of the Ole Miss staff saved him, and the next day he had a cardiac ablation to correct his heart rhythm problems caused by Wolf Parkinson White syndrome. It was a crazy deal, but you know, it all happened for a reason. And you know, you can, you can see that now. While Summers recovered back in Jackson, the incident was felt throughout the Ole Miss program. And then when you get one, you know, from a kid that was working out that, uh, that you worry about his health in a way that it could be a life or death situation, boy, it's never a comforting feeling. We immediately start praying and uh, and, and think, thankful that uh, everything's okay with him. Everything is okay with Stewart now, but to ensure his health moving forward, he had to make a tough decision that ended his time on the Ole Miss team. I love football growing up. I haven't been without it my whole life, so I mean, it was kind of hard to deal with at first, but you know, you realize there's a lot more important things than dying over football for, you know? You know, I wake up every morning and I thank God for another day because, I mean, you never know, you might not get tomorrow.